I'm Moran from AIM. In this video, we'll have a look at how to make the best use of knowledge articles in BMC Remedy Force through different use case scenarios. I'll be demonstrating how you can increase customer satisfaction, reduce average uh, incident handling times, and increase self-service usage using good knowledge process and all supported out of the box in Remedy Force. There are four types of knowledge articles supported by BMC Remedy Force. FAQ, how to, known error, and problem solution. Depending on its type, an article would be populated with different fields such as title, keywords, question and answer, root cause and workaround, and problem and solution. Videos can be embedded in an article, as you can see here in the article shown on my screen, which can sometimes be easier and more user-friendly than a text paragraph. So now let's have a look at different use case scenarios involving knowledge articles. The first use case represents a situation where a knowledge article doesn't currently exist. Using incident matching, the analyst will then create a knowledge article. This could help an analyst or an end user next time the issue occurs. So as an analyst, I open a ticket I have a look at the incident description and realize that I don't know how to resolve the issue. The customer is having an issue with an application called Quick Check, and in this example, certain fields aren't appearing. I then open the Smart Suggestions tab and search for a knowledge article that could help me. But unfortunately, none of them helps. Another option would be to look if there's an incident that would match my current ticket. And it looks like there is. This, in, this incident is very similar to the one I have. So what I can do is copy the resolution here. and paste it in the resolution field of my current ticket. And I'm letting the customer know that they should flush their browser cache. And now I can close my ticket. So I save it first. And then I can close it. What I'll also do now is create a knowledge article from this record. So I'll choose a title and I'll choose the um, known error type. And as I click on create, the article is saved as a draft. So if I want to edit my knowledge article, I can go to the knowledge articles tab, find my article. And as you can see, uh, the article has uh, been automatically populated with the text of the resolution, description, and category fields. So when I'm happy with it, I can publish it. And that's it. My article is done. So later on, one of my colleagues has a ticket coming in with the same issue I had earlier. So he looks for a knowledge article that could help him resolve the incident and he finds my article. Notice how the relevant knowledge article is automatically suggested to the analyst within the Smart Suggestions toolbar here at the bottom of the screen. And he can simply um, so select the article, either copy the text of the article or the link, and automatically the resolution field is populated with uh, well, the resolution. Um, so it's very quick and easy, as you can see. Uh, while resol resolving the same issue earlier, probably took me, let's say, five minutes. 
my colleague was able to close the ticket in less than two, thanks to my knowledge article. So now I'm going to put myself in the shoes of an end user using the self-service portal. I'm opening self-service 3.0. So as an end user, my issue is that I can't see certain fields in my web app called Quick Check. I can browse the self-help articles uh, list if I want to, or I can also uh, search using the search box. And that's it. I found an article that will help me with my issue. So it's the article we created earlier, as you can see. So no need for me to raise a ticket with the service desk, which saves a huge amount of time for everyone. So finally, as a service desk manager, I could easily report on the use of knowledge articles. If we have a look at this dashboard here, we can see that the number of views of knowledge articles is increasing, as well as the number of articles used by members of staff to resolve incidents. Um, and if my organization has maturity plans around self-service and the use of knowledge articles, I can track progress against my key performance indicators within Remedy Force. So as we saw, knowledge articles can be used in a number of different ways in BMC Remedy Force helping both analysts and end users solve uh, issues more quickly and more efficiently. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.